This is Ken Huss. Welcome to another edition of Kenny's Two Pennies. Hey, we won! But seriously, it was just Northeastern. Now here's a couple of quick hits. I leave it right where it is. Almost 20 feet from the basket. It's been a perfect distance that it's been ever since it's been in existence. And hell, I thought we move it out to the NBA distance. I don't know, maybe it's going to go down. But I kind of like it right where it is. Leave it alone. Dynamite! Hell, Jimmy Walker was a favorite of mine back then, and he still hosts little comedy things here and there. But I especially like John Amos. He didn't take no shit from anybody, especially when he was trying to feed his family. Those were the days, the 70s. Well, 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 miracles never cease. In this day and age of pfft, Syracuse playing, we finally win a game. Although it was a Division I AA school. And we showed, hey, we can run the ball. Curtis Mujahateen Kapuna! Or should I say, Curtis... David Brinkley of NBC Nightly News ran for almost 150 yards and Doug Hogue, federal agent, topped the 100-yard mark himself. But still, our passing game leaves somewhat to be desired. Marcus, uh, whatever, Sales, <laughs> couldn't think of a nickname, I will. Marcus Sales having a nice game was Patrick Shadel Good leg as always, kicking three field goals. Although I would like to have seen a few more points. After all, it was a Division I AA school. But still, Northeastern, even though they're a Division I AA school, hey, I sound redundant, do, do I? Showed our secondary needs a lot of work. Heck, they're in the second quarter. They blitzed us for, I think, a 68 or 69-yard touchdown pass when we should have been knowing that they were going to throw the deep ball. Hey, it was almost halftime. We should have been looking for it. We may have won, but still, Robinson, you have shamed this university and shamed everybody in Q's Nation. And even today on ESPN, A.D. Gross is finally starting to wake up and smell the coffee that you're not doing the job and you gotta go snot ball <sighs> but anyway a win's a win but now we go into big east conference time we play a team that sometimes has been the pits Dave Wanestet took them over the same time that Robinson became the coach at Syracuse Wanestet's won a few more games including being us three times but even he's on the hot seat, but not as hot as you, Mr. Robinson. Well, let's hope for a good showing. I don't know if we can build off of this. Maybe we can. But let's hope another victory's in the offing so I can do another goofy dance. <laughs> I'm Ken Haas. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yahoo! We're finally out of the handicap zone as far as golfers. We finally had a team effort. And everybody said, without Tiger, we couldn't do it. Especially with those down-home country boy antics of boo, don't call me Yogi Bear Weekly. Hell, he showed a lot of levity there on the golf course. We need a little more of that. Instead of those Europeans who act like they got a thing shoved up their ass.
Life on Mars. There's been evidence to suggest there are things that could sustain life on Mars, but I hope if uh, there has been life, there hasn't been one named Marvin. At last, after 2,000 years of research, I've developed the Illudium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator. Yep, I don't think so, Doc.